क्वेश्चन नंबर वन वट इज द फर्स्ट नर्सिंग एक्शन फॉर अ पेशेंट हैविंग अ टॉनिक क्लॉनिक सीजर द करेक्ट आंसर इज सी टर्न टू लेटरल फिजिशियन क्वेश्चन नंबर टू विच फाइंडिंग इज मोस्ट कंसर्निंग इन अ फोस्ट ऑफ एबडामिनल सर्जरी पेशेंट द करेक्ट आंसर इज बी एबसेंट बाउल साउंड क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री वट इज द फ्रियोरिटी असेसमेंट फॉर अ पेशेंट रिसीविंग आई वी वेंकोमाइसिन The correct answer is C. Hearing changes. Question number four: Which patient requires ear bone precautions? The correct answer is B. Tuberculosis. Question number five. What is the most accurate method to confirm NG tube placement? The correct answer is C, X-ray verification. Question number six: Which finding indicates worsening heart failure? The correct answer is C. Three plus fitting edema. Question number seven: What is the nurse's first action for suspected transfusion reaction? The correct answer is C: Stop the transfusion. Question number eight. Which vital sign change is earliest in shock? The correct answer is D, elevated respiratory rate. Question number nine: What teaching is essential for a patient starting warfarin? The correct answer is C, monitor for bruising. Question number ten: Which assessment is priority for a patient with pancreatitis? The correct answer is B, fan level. Question number eleven: What intervention is contraindicated for a deep vein thrombosis? The correct answer is C. Massaging the leg. Question number twelve: Which finding requires immediate intervention in chest tube patient? The correct answer is C. Sudden absence of tidying. Question number thirteen. What is the most common complication of immobility? The correct answer is B, pressure injuries. Question number fourteen: Which patient is at highest risk for aspiration? The correct answer is A, new tracheostomy. Question number fifteen: What is the priority nursing diagnosis for a COPD exacerbation? The correct answer is B: Impaired gas exchange. Question number sixteen: Which lab value indicates heparin effectiveness? The correct answer is C, APTT. Question number seventeen: 
what is the most serious complication of total parenteral nutrition the correct answer is b catheter infection question number 18 which finding indicates magnesium sulfate toxicity the correct answer is b respiratory depression question number 19 what is the priority teaching for oral prednisone the correct answer is c never stop abruptly question number 20 which assessment is most important for a patient with cushing syndrome The correct answer is A. Daily weights. Question number 21. What is the most reliable indicator of pain in a non-verbal patient? The correct answer is B. Facial grimacing. Question number 22. Which intervention is priority for a patient with ascending pharolysis? The correct answer is B. Earway assessment. Question number 23. What is the most common cause of hospital acquired pneumonia? The correct answer is B. Aspiration. Question number 24. Which finding indicates need for suctioning in a tracheostomy patient? The correct answer is B. Audible secretions. Question number 25. What is the most important nursing action to prevent catheter associated UTIs? The correct answer is B. Maintain closed system. Question number 26. Which patient requires contact precautions? The correct answer is D. Scabies. Question number 27. What is the priority assessment before administering digoxin? The correct answer is B. Apical false. Question number 28. Which finding indicates need for immediate dialysis? The correct answer is A. Potassium 6.2 milli equivalent for later. Question number 29. What is the most serious complication of immobility? The correct answer is B. Deep vein thrombosis. Question number 30. Which instruction is essential for a patient with new hearing aids? The correct answer is B. Remove during showering. Question number 31. What is the priority nursing action for suspected pulmonary embolism? The correct answer is B. Fly oxygen. Question number 32. Which finding indicates effective insulin therapy for DKA? The correct answer is D. All of the above. Question number 33. What is the most important teaching for a patient with glaucoma? The correct answer is C. 
reports sudden vision changes question number 34 which assessment is priority for a patient with myasthenia gravis the correct answer is b respiratory effort question number 35 What is the most common complication of long term corticosteroid use? The correct answer is B osteoporosis. Question number 36. Which finding indicates need for immediate intervention in a head injury patient? The correct answer is B unequal feeds. Question number thirty-seven. What is the priority nursing diagnosis for a patient with cirrhosis? The correct answer is A. Fluid volume excess. Question number thirty-eight. Which instruction is most important for a patient taking lithium? The correct answer is B. maintain fluid intake question number 39 what is the most serious complication of a peptic ulcer the correct answer is a hemorrhage question number 40 which assessment is priority for a patient receiving chemotherapy The correct answer is B temperature. Question number 41. What is the priority intervention for a patient with acute confusion? The correct answer is B reorient frequently. Question number 42. Which finding indicates need for immediate intervention in a diabetic patient? The correct answer is C, dry mucous membranes. Question number forty-three. What is the most important teaching for a patient with osteoporosis? The correct answer is A, increase calcium intake. Question number forty-four: Which assessment is priority for a patient with heart failure? The correct answer is A. Lung sounds. Question number forty-five: What is the priority nursing action for a patient with active GI bleeding? The correct answer is B. Start IV fluids. Question number forty-six. What finding indicates need for immediate intervention in a postpartum patient? The correct answer is C. Saturating one fed per hour. Question number forty-seven. What is the priority teaching for a patient with rheumatoid arthritis? The correct answer is D. All of the above. Question number forty-eight. Which assessment is priority for a patient with a new cost? The correct answer is A. Capillary refill. Question number forty-nine. What is the most important nursing action to prevent surgical site infections? The correct answer is B, maintain sterile technique. Question number fifty, which finding indicates effective treatment for heart failure? 
The correct answer is D, all of the above. Thanks for watching.